Thankfully, tonight's show won't cost you a penny, spooks and spookettes. Tonight's review is a TV show called Penny Dreadful. Where is your master? Right behind you. in rare form that I review television shows, and, well, the last television show I reviewed, True Blood, was a... Well, we all know how that ended up. But anyway, I'm excited about tonight's review because I really believe that Penny Dreadful could perhaps be the best horror show on television. Basically, the show kind of combines the classic gothic stories of Dracula, Frankenstein, and the picture of Dorian Gray, but uh, with kind of a twist to it. The main story follows Sir Malcolm Murray, played by Timothy Dalton, also known as Bond, James Bond, and uh, his friend Vanessa Ives, played by Ava Green, made famous for 300 Lies of the Empire, a very good-looking British lady, I might add. Anyway, that has nothing to do with anything. Also, uh, Josh Hartnett is in the show. He plays a man named Ethan Chandler. And it's good to see him do something positive. I haven't seen him do anything since that horrible Pearl Harbor movie. But anyway, so Sir Malcolm and Vanessa are looking for Sir Malcolm's daughter, Mina Murray. Yes, it is the Mina Murray of Bram Stoker's Dracula, but no! Dracula... Well, anyway, I, I should explain a little more. Mina is being held captured by a vampire, but it's not Dracula. No, it's some weird-looking gray guy. But you kind of think he's Dracula, but he's really not. But also, somewhere in the mix, Dr. Frankenstein comes in. Sir Malcolm wants Frankenstein to help with the team to search for Mina and kill these vampires. And, uh, well, Dr. Frankenstein, he's got some issues of his own because, well, he created a monster, and the monster is hounding him night and day about creating him a mate. Yeah, I, I, I feel his pain, that one. Anyway, so, basically everybody has demons in this show. Everyone's dealing with their own internal conflicts, which is kind of the main theme, if you will, of this show. I mean, with Vanessa Ives, she's kind of sort of possessed by a demon, which is why she has her supernatural ability of being a medium. And, um, as for Ethan Chandler, he's trying to comfort his uh, dying girlfriend, who's played by Billy Harper of the Doctor Who show, and uh, also he's running away from home, but you don't really know why until the very end of this season. But also to overcomplicate things uh, with the Vanessa Ives character, so she has this demon living within her, and Amin Ra, who is working in the shadows, don't really see him, has chosen her to be the mother of evil, so that all evil supernatural creatures could come out of the woodwork and enslave the human race. Oh, and on top of that, Dorian Gray is in the show somewhere. But, I have to say, this show is top-notch. I mean, everything about it, the script is just killer. The acting is absolutely superb. I mean, you get some top-notch performance out of these people. It's, it's fantastic. This, this show is one for the ages, folks. The art direction, the, the period costumes, it's just... You couldn't ask for a better horror show. And to top it all off, you get the classics. Dracula, Frankenstein, the picture of Dorian Gray. It's all there, right there for you. However... As great as this show is, I have some concerns about it. And I want to talk to the creators of the show because I love this show and I don't want it to go downhill like so many other horror shows are going downhill. Number one, please don't 
kill characters, important characters, so anticlimactically. Van Helsing, which is, I mean, really the main character of anything, if you put him in, in any show or movie, you just kill him off. The creature kills him in a dark alleyway, just randomly. I mean, come on. You, that, there was so much you could have done with the Van Helsing character, and you just cut him off like that. And another thing, there seems to be a lot of, well, not a lot, but there was at least one romantic fling that just kind of came out of nowhere and really wasn't ever talked about throughout the season. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about the fling between Ethan Chandler and Dorian Gray. If you're going to put something like that in a show, have a point to it. Otherwise, it leaves people like me completely baffled. But I think if you avoid just those two things, I think you have a masterpiece on your hands. Well, that's all the time that I have for this week. Be sure to join me next week for my review. Oh, next week is a versus segment. Which is better, folks? The original or the remake of The Evil Dead? Find out next week. But until then, as far as things go, when things go bump in the night, there are such things. <laughs>